Hi, this is Rob Charney with Old Guy Technology. We're here today on a roundtable discussion of just about whatever it is that we feel like talking about today. So with us today we have Jonathan Charney and James Stevens. Hello. Hey, there you go. Yo. Hey, John's a yo and James is a what? Hello. 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 So. You and that damn yeah. cat. <laughs> <laughs> Trigun was awesome. <laughs> What's wrong with Trigun? <laughs> it's that cat. The cat. The cat never even got explained. Uh, even on the forums. Maybe maybe <laughs> that's too too much stuff for us today. So, <laughs> with uh, with uh, Jonathan and James here today, we we're just trying to figure out what we, we would all like to talk about. And so I, I picked a few things, and um, uh, what what I came up with today uh, is uh, cool, cool stuff on DVD. You guys like uh, <laughs> DVD, so this is uh, USA Today's. Uh, idea of what they consider cool stuff so we'll see what you guys think uh, it, it, it may not all be cool stuff but, but we'll see there's what a it lot is. of things that shouldn't be on DVD yeah well let's see <laughs> well how about this this is US Today today's recommended titles and they go uh, uh, the Pee Wee Herman show on Broadway is that, is that one that you guys are gonna run out and get real quick oh yeah just waiting to you get know that. I actually heard that he did good with that one that the Broadway show is actually very nice is what I've heard. If you're a pedophile, I'm not going to go look at it though. If you're a pedophile, maybe. I wouldn't pay to go see that. <laughs> would you? It, would you rent it from Redbox? No, <laughs> it's still costing me a dollar. Are you yeah, kidding? That's what I'm thinking he's got to pay me two dollars to go watch it. So, so that's an out. <laughs> so there's there's no way you're going to do that. Well, if you actually looked at Pee Wee Herman in the Broadway show, he looked like a really skinny, like he was falling apart, like he was frail. Remember when he, he was a uh, he, he was on wrestling when he was promoting the Broadway oh, show? Oh yeah, yeah. And he got on there. Yeah, he got on wrestling. Uh, yeah. Monday Night Raw and was like a a, man, a celebrity manager or something like that, and he was he looked so skinny, huh? Like just wear and tear had taken abuse on him. Well, must have been all those public bathrooms. Yeah, probably. It's from yeah. all the shame of being Pee Wee Herman all these years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how would you like to be called Pee Wee? That's another story unto itself. Uh, what the heck is Submarine? Did you guys see Submarine? It was directed by Richard... Oh, I can't pronounce this guy's last name. Uh, portrait of a eccentric teen who plots to have sex with his girlfriend, mend his parents' relationship, and listen to as many French crooners as possible. What? Huh? French crooners? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of bad that that's the only thing I said out of that whole thing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty bad. I don't... I, my first... French crooners. My first thought is I surrender, so... Oh, that was pretty bad. Oh. Yeah, typical. But, that was the actual dis- French thing. Yeah. That was a description of that movie. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. horrible. You didn't know whether French crooners. Uh, I never heard of us. What about Scream Four? Yeah. That's the the latest and greatest one, right? Yeah. No, I thought there was Scream Five. Or well, I don't know what's um, in the theaters, but Scream Four is the most recent release for uh, DVD. Because I, I I I remotely want to see the the newest one, like Scream Ten Years Later or whatnot. You know, how come they don't have I Come in Peace? How come is, that's not in there? Well, well, they do have it. They just don't have yeah, it for this, the U.S. release. And you got to remember, this is their uh, quick stuff for today. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be left out. Well, I mean, so. you, can, you can buy uh, I Come in Peace. I think it's called Dark Angel in the U.K. as a Region 2. Yeah, but that's... Is it actually a Region 2? It's a Region 2. They don't have it for a U.S. release. That's all I was going to say. It's not for their release yet. It's not at release in the States. And they're releasing Pee Wee Herman on Broadway already? That's I Come in Peace was what eighty seven eighty eight. Yeah, I'd rather watch I Come in Peace than Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. I I have no clue what it's even about, but hey, come on, it has, Broadway show. The Broadway show well, was supposed Broadway to be uh, about his. Wasn't it like a Broadway production of Big Pee Wee Under the Big Top or something? Oh, okay. like that? I it was no like idea. a well, I, movie. I, yeah. I actually meant Scream oh. Four. I had nightmares about Pee Wee Herman. Oh. <laughs> I, I think a lot of people did. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. And I don't any know. movie with Dolph Lundgren's got to be great. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at the Rocky movie. That was awesome. <laughs> you know who Dolph Lundgren is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, total B-movie actor. He actually did a pretty good one. Was it? The, oh, come on. The only thing about it was the, it was the last... Uh, oh, gosh. What was it? It was like the last... Um, Expendables? No, not Expendables. It was before that. He did an actual indie movie. Called uh, like 
the last duty or the last something. It was about a Roman soldier whose last little thing was to... What was the last legion or the lost legion? No, it, it was... He was a Roman soldier and he just went out and he was supposed to be taking the, the body of Christ and burying it, but he couldn't find it and it was this whole thing about... You know, Alright, I'm already lost. Him. Let's move on. <laughs> Come on, he was really good as uh, He-Man. Come on, that movie was amazing. Uh, how about Buck? Guys, never said it's it's a, a documentary about a cowboy who is a okay. real life horse whisperer. What? Okay, no, you can skip that one. I'm not interested. Buck, buck, buck. buck. No, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's not one I would even waste my time to watch. Okay, I want my time back just for reading the title. Yeah, skins, skins, Se- season one. Skins. What's skins? It's got to be a football. T- what do you think? It's, it must TV be a football show? thing. Does it's it give a, it a? It's, it's an MTV spinoff. Oh gosh, that's why. Who watches yeah. MTV? I don't know. They actually are having a new show coming out that's supposed to be like uh, cops, but it's about like cops and there's actually vampires and wherever it's running around. It's an MTV show. It's supposed to be like Reno Nine One One, where it's what, filmed like cops. What happened to MTV doing music <coughs> videos? Isn't that what they're supposed to be? They haven't done they that have, since the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm, that's my. I mean, I don't understand what what's M- MTV stand for anymore. I haven't watched it in years. Everything else but music. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I don't even think... Because back in the 90s, or early 90s and late 80s, they did music all day, is pretty it, much. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Isn't it did, time for them to change their name? Well, they did liquid television for a while, and then like, sometime in the mid-90s, they stopped. Like, the, when the real, the real world came out is when they stopped doing... Yeah, that was the downfall of MTV. When they stopped doing the... Didn't your sister want to be on there? Yes, unfortunately. Why would you want to do that? I have no idea. Why would you want to be locked in a house with a bunch of really perverted <laughs> people that are like yelling at you all day long that's well, what the real world was about yeah, it wasn't for the money it was about drama sure. oh yeah well i i have no uh uh oh my goodness i just lost the name of that tv show big brother big brother oh god i love big brother it's so funny it's, i had a girlfriend that i watched it with her for a short time yeah once we broke up i never looked at that show ever again, again. <laughs> Don't look at me, I hate reality TV. Uh, no, I thought it was great. It, mm. What I really love, the fact that interaction of these people locked together in a house for you know months, I think it's almost two months, Yeah. and you just go, Fruit Loops, man. <laughs> you got no TV, no internet. Uh, the only thing you can bring in the read, I thought, was just the Bible. Um, that's it. You've got no stimulation from the outside at all, and you have to interact with each other for all this time. You, oh, you go gosh. crazy. I'd have no problem reading the Bible for two months straight. There's a show, I forget what, it, what network it was supposed to be on, but it's like isolation or something, solitary, and they, they lock you in a room, and then there's like this, the only interaction you have is with a computer system that tells you to do random stupid stuff, and they see how long it takes before you break. <laughs> I watched like part of it. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean... There's that kind of seemed interesting as far as the reality show. I mean, like, how long can you really be locked in a room by yourself? I, I don't know. I'd rather it's just watch it two on, weeks. I'd rather just watch it on Mythbusters, because at least I get to see Carrie Byron. <laughs> Boy, I hope I we don't have to pay him a royalty. It's not the motivational the poster about that. Like, even, like, nerds or geeks can be sexy, and this is the reason why you watch that show or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously she's part of the reason. Well, she's become a sex symbol for geeks now. Yeah, she has. Remember the chick from Blossom? Oh, yeah, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Oh, I can never pronounce her name, but she's also apparently a geek uh, symbol. Oh, hmm. really? Hmm. I don't know. I saw her in an interview. Uh, it was her and Carrie Byron together. Is she still doing stuff? Uh, like, acting? Not that I know of. Huh. But she was on MacGyver. <laughs> that doesn't count. How about, how about, this is perfect, and I think our, our audience was just bored to death. That's the title of this DVD. Uh, bored to death, the complete second season. That means there's a first, and I've never even heard of it. I've heard of it, I've never seen it. What's the description of the show? That's it. That was bored it. to death. Uh, just the complete second season. Really? So you'd have to look it up, yeah, I don't know. As everybody hits their... Uh, smartphones. Smartphones, yeah. <laughs> Not me. I'm going to keep looking at my iPad here because that, that's got all my notes on it. <laughs> well, um, it could be. It's pretty much a smartphone without the ability to call. Yeah, which is fine with me. I, I got enough. Uh, anyway, yeah, bored to death. I don't know what you're going to find. It's, you know, I'll move along. Let's see. Uh, while you guys look that up, Fast Five. 
Fast and Furious. Okay, here's no, the. No, no, this is fast. No, this here's is Fast Five. This is the newest Fast and Furious one. Yeah, that looks. In- the Rock's S- in it. Sweaty dudes and cars that go fast. That's what? pretty. Oh, much that's a description. Up. Yeah. It was like, is that the new t- another TV show? No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I could miss that one. It's a Cinemax show. <laughs> so here's the thing of Bored to Death. And let's see, inspired by detective stories, a well-meaning but struggling writer decides to lead a sort of double life for pretending to be a private detective. Isn't that Castle? I don't know. I like Castle. But oh, isn't wow. that pretty much the same thing as Castle? He's well, a former writer who's now becoming a detective. Well, he's still a writer, he, but he doesn't become a cop. He just gets to follow him. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah, though? yeah. It's, same, it's pretty much the same principle. Premise, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's Ted Danson in Is it uh, Zach uh, Galafini? No, he's in uh, uh, CSI now. Oliver Platt is in this one, at least in the first season. Ted Danson's doing C- CSI now. You could be doing oh, is both. He? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's he's the, he's the new director, the oh, person in charge. So it, yeah, he was re- actually taking a serious role. Yeah. yeah. He replaced um, uh, well, Ray Langston, the I don't Morpheus, know. Morpheus guy. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if I'd say it's a serious role. He's still pretty goofy. He the well, really the character. Goofy. I haven't I haven't watched any of the seasons, so I guess now I, I have a really, reason to. I haven't really watched Ted Danson since Cheers. Well, hopefully he does well. I Has he been like, anything I else? I like the Cheers? guy. Yeah, he's done some little bits. Yeah, he has. P- yes. pieces kind I'm, of cameo thing. I'm but. sure that he probably doesn't have to work another day in his life. It's just the money oh, off the yeah. chairs alone I'm sure he's done. I mean, uh, the guy who played Norm hasn't worked since. Yeah. yeah. Or, uh, 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 who's the little girl, Rita or whatever? Rhea Perlman? Yeah, Rhea Perlman. Well, she's married worked. to Danny DeVito. That's true. Yeah, she does a lot of Broadway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she does well, a lot. Well, anything, so. they could still work, just not necessarily an acting. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Only what about one? Shelley Long? Yeah. There's another one I haven't seen recently, but yeah, the only ones that have really gone on to do something else was who Woody uh, Woody, Woody Harrelson, Woody Harrelson, yeah. and uh, Christy Alley. But she just became like a Jenny Craig spokesperson. No, yeah. but there's there's the guy who till he was at Norm, the postal guy. Right. He, he did. Yeah. Well, he did a lot of. He did a TV show for a while for Discover uh, Travel Channel. Yeah, he did true. on the the car, like the all the yeah. The, I know Pixar Channel. stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, good for all of them. Let's see what yeah. else do we have here. Friday Night Lights. The complete Ooh. series. No, thank you. I refuse. Isn't that, isn't that high school football? I refuse to watch any football shows. I, I mean, the, that, it's the same thing. It's Just a, go watch Rudy, and you've seen them all. Why would you? I've never seen Rudy. Thankfully, how well, did you get out of high school without watching Rudy? I tried really hard. I was sick that day. <laughs> That's like five <laughs> days out of the year to be sick. Hey, I was lucky. I've, I've always managed to get out of ever seeing that movie. Well, I'm assuming this is a typical teenage television series of. Love triangles, well, and football, I mean, and I guess they really don't have Buffy anymore. I mean, well, those I, are, yeah, but I agree with you. I mean, why see it when you can watch it in a two-hour time span? You can see the entire series. You know, watch. Uh, um, well, they got what, We Are Marshall. Uh, remember the Titans? Um, what was the, there was the other one that uh, that was really popular when we were in high school? The one about the uh, you know Texas town. I was talking about this. Ne- <laughs> I was going to say necessary roughness, but that one, I like <laughs> that, that one. Good one. Texas town. I don't remember the name. <sighs> Um, I know what you're talking. R- about. Remember, it was uh, like the the quarterback got hurt, so they had like you know the second string guy go in. And yeah, and it's all the same premise. It's all the same story, pretty much. I was actually reading something on that the other day. It was I think it was actually the show Friday Night Lights, mm-hmm. and this guy was talking about how he didn't want to see it because it was that it was a football show, and he doesn't like football movies or shows. And he said it's not the same thing. But I'm thinking, how many seasons can you have? Of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're losing. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, let's rally and come back. How many seasons can you watch that? Well, see, I'll never watch any show that doesn't have... And I understand that they'll have different things, like, oh, this girl has issues, so they're all going to help her right now, or she's hiding it. It's all drama. I think it's very difficult now to come up with any original ideas. It's it, very, very difficult. Well, We've done virtually everything, so... I personally believe that... All the good ideas have already been done. What you do now is you combine them or you try to create the story in a different spin. Tell the story in a different solution. Um, My friend Ryan, who we're going to try to get up here, is talking about that he was reading something and all the good stories have been the same thing. It's like uh, outside interference coming in, like aliens or zombies or something like that. And that's going to drive your story. Or it's, you know, the the uh, underdog is coming back. All these different things are all the same different styles, just told in a different way. Yeah, so I all think the that's idea, true. So all the major ideas are already established. Right. 
And hmm. what you do now is you combine them, or you try to tell it in a way that hasn't been told. Well, I think I think. Well, I was going to say. Fart. I think you're finding an, an education too when you start getting in the college level and and uh, above. You know, somebody trying to write an original thesis or something. It's getting very difficult, oh, yeah. uh, you know, so because uh, yeah, so much has already been done. But that, that's off topic a little bit. Well, I was going to say, as far as original well, ideas, I, I still think, you know, James at least is partially right. I mean, I just think it depends on how, how you do it. The problem with Hollywood is they tend have a tendency to use the same ideas. Well, my biggest issue with Hollywood right now is that they're they're not really putting anything that's quality out. They're pumping a massive amount of mediocre movies out there. Well, you like the new Rock'em Sock'em Robots with Hugh yeah, Jackman. But even still, that's actually kind of a new idea, but it's got a bunch of different spins on it. Robo, come on, it's it's robot jocks, but you're not piloting well, it. Well, yeah, pretty much. But it's still the whole Rocky movie, because he's going to be an underdog, and he's going to come back, and he's going to fight, and he's going to do a good job. Fine, cute. But it's... They're robots. He's got his own fighting style. He's putting in a robot. It's all this spin and stuff like that, which is... I mean, I'm not going to go to the movie and watch it. I don't find it going to be worth that much. I'll probably watch it when it's released on DVD or something. At Redbox for a buck. There you go. <laughs> you know? I'm not going to go out and spend uh, six bucks on, you know, the, the matinee days. Or, what, ten, fifty, eleven dollars for that? That's yeah. what I'm considering now. Yeah. And if you look at it, what do they have now? They have all these comedies. They have all these things that are just the same thing done over and over again. That's my biggest is issue with The Hangover. Is It's trying to be like National Lampoon, but you already trashed it. But we're going out and drinking and partying? That, which, I mean, come on. Bring back Chevy Chase. Come on. Give yeah, me a break here. Know, I still think there's there hasn't been any good comedy since... Uh what uh, since the space, Spaceballs guys basically is too oh, old to Mo do Brooks. anything. Yeah, uh, but Mo Brooks is well, too old, and Gene Wilder's and all the good guys are just too old to do it. And this jackass yeah. stuff, I I don't get it all, and maybe it's because it's my age. And I mean, it's just people. No, I hate being, jackass too. Yeah, so. just being stupid. Just all yeah. it is is let's do something stupid and see if I can hurt the myself. The only parts of jackass that I actually laugh at are the parts where they're actually doing something that you would normally do. Not something like here's a here's a yellow snow cone, eat it. You know, <laughs> that, that's just stupid. That's disgusting. And but the parts where they're probably you know on the water and they're doing the balloon jump thing where they launch them, that's pretty cool. And then they you know shoot them with paintballs. That's kind of funny, but you know because duck okay. hunt thing. <laughs> so so you got one thing that worked. The rest of it's stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, the majority of what they're putting out nowadays is stupid, and that's yeah. why when you look at all these new releases, I was actually trying to find a new release on DVD and see what you know, mm -hmm. would come up, my phone's being a little slow. But if you look at what the Red Box has out there and look through all the titles, you may only find maybe three that are actually worth watching. That's why when I look at movies or something like that, I don't look at the mainstream anymore. I have to look at indie movies or European movies or something like that because that's where you get them coming out. They're not doing so much CGI. They're not trying to throw in a lot of action they're trying to bring back the old acting styles now where the person is actually making you believe the role that's when i find a good movie is when you find a person who actually makes you truly believe that they are that that character that they're trying to play yeah yeah, yeah well i think one of the reasons they're trying to do comic book and movie video game based stories this is the last bastion of decent storytelling yeah it's comic books until Uwe bowl gets a hold of it yeah. <laughs> Or the Wachowski brothers, or ancestor. Yeah, <laughs> brother and sister now. What else we got here? We got another one. Ken Burns Prohibition. Well, I've heard it's well, it's a documentary. I like Ken Burns. Though. Yeah, it's a documentary. Uh, the documentary. Returns with an examination of the rise and fall of the Eighteenth Amendment. It's supposed to be a really good documentary. I want to well, see it, but I'm not going to pay for it. You've seen his Civil War one, right? Parts of it. His, like, nine-hour Civil War uh, documentary that he did, the Ken Burns one. Well, I've never find the Civil War that fascinating, so it's a little harder for me Actually, to want that to that one's really it. good, really well done. Have you seen that one? You need to move oh. forward just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, no, I have not. I kind of felt like I was, yeah, <laughs> overloading the mic. That's why I backed yeah, off no, from it. Yeah, no, but then you're out of the shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the Ken Burns one is actually really well done. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's actually worth a watch. You know, I, I think I may have watched it. Yeah, that's like nine hours. Of... It was made in the early 90s, though, right? So I've probably yeah. seen it. Okay, yeah. Well, I don't know if you've seen all of it, because there's a lot of it. There's uh, Bits and pieces. probably like... I went through it recently, and I think there's like nine different episodes, and they're all like... Uh, a couple of them are two hours. And, yeah, yeah, see, so I just... It's, yeah. it's kind of ridiculously long, but... 
the story that he tells. So that'd be pretty interesting to check out the one on Prohibition. I'll, that one I want to see. If he does one about World War II, I'd be more interested in it. But that's yeah, just my opinion. He might have. I don't know. There's an awful lot to do with Prohibition. It's, just, it's quite a story behind that one. So that would be interesting. Yeah. So Weird Al Yankovic live. Live? Yeah. I you know, I liked him in the 90s. He had some pretty funny ones, like The Night Santa Went Crazy. I got over him as soon as I got out of middle school. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he was pretty much trying to be a Dr. Demento. Yeah, that's yeah. what he that's what he was stylized after, and I think some of his stuff was pretty good. I don't think I'd want to watch him live though. I'm not well, really into that. Well, the Star Wars one was pretty funny. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I, I I'm just sick of him personally. You have, she know heard much of his songs? I, I've heard them. <laughs> some sometimes they're funny. Well, the Gangster know? Paradise one was oh, always the Gangster Paradise. Yeah, that, that was pretty. The funny. Churning Butter. Yeah, yeah. 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 some of his stuff is oh, funny. I mean, he's got a good sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Still not my thing. But, or Nirv- you know. the Nirvana one is the Nirvana one. Oh, uh, sm- what was the name of that one? Like Smells Like Teen Spirit. Well, or? that was the name of the song, but I'm saying his other version of it. I don't know. I don't either. I just yeah. know he mumbles through most of the song. See what else we have here. Also out. This is a whole list of things. Um, the League season two. The Caller. The, the League. The League. I don't know. The Caller. The Bionic, Bionic Woman season three. Wait, wait, wait. They it, made three seasons of the of the the least. Is it the original or the latest? The latest. No, one? this is the newest one. They yeah. made three yeah. seasons of that. Yeah, I, it was actually as far as I wow. knew that one was only. It was seemed like it got out and then it was gone. Yeah, I, I never saw any of them, so I have no I idea. I thought it was only a season. I thought it was only a season. Boy three. Meets World, the complete seventh season. Oh, boy. Seventh season? There were seven seasons of Boy Meets World? That's what yeah, it says. He, at the end of it, he married the Panga. Or something I knew like that. that, but I actually liked that show early, but I wasn't going to watch seven seasons of it. I never seven watched any of it, so. The Heart yeah, Specialist, much. In Treatment, Season 3, Lie to Me. You know, Lie to Me started out as a good show. What was it about? I don't even hear about it. It was Tim Roth. Yeah, it was a it good was show Tim Roth, for a while. And what he was is he was somebody who could tell when you were lying. He could just read your oh, features. Yes, he had studied yes, yes. about lying to a certain okay, really I have seen it. Uh, massive amount. But he he started out with, with, with it re- being really good, mm-hmm. but I just wasn't into like a 24 about lying. That's right. what it, that's what it came out to be. Because yeah, like, he started going to places. Like he went to Iraq or Afghanistan in one yeah. of those places. Uh, and, uh, and, and he became, you know, a... Uh, uh, Oh gosh, what was the guy's name? What was Kiefer Sutherland's name of that character in Twenty Four? Uh, Jack something. Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer. He was like the Jack Bauer of lying. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I just got done watching what was it like six seasons of Twenty Four. I don't want to watch another few seasons of a Jack Bauer of lying and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That, that doesn't make a lot of sense. On the other it? side, yeah. at least it was better than The Mentalist, which I've never liked. <sighs> Yeah, you don't like the middle list. I that, that character is too whiny for me. He gets oh. re- on my nerves. I like him. <laughs> I think it's funny. Him. What else do we have here? Well, uh, the, the mentalist seemed like it was monk, but not um, as anal. Yeah, not as anal, and uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. But see, see that's kind of how you have to do. It. You have to compare. That, this is what I find funny is when you're talking about movies or TV shows that other people haven't watched, you just throw out a bunch of titles of the similar storyline. Right, and then people catch up to it. That's what's kind of sad. Okay, yeah. name one similar to the Matrix. Um. Oh, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, the Sleeper Guys, uh, where they were um, killing themselves. Sleeper Guys are killing. It was an eighties movie where they were uh, going into their dreams. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. What was that movie? Oh gosh, so I'm going in. I was gonna say Trancers, but that's not it. Um. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, um, they were able to. Get into their dreams by almost killing themselves. Right. Yeah. Right, right. But that would be close to the Matrix. There you go. Yeah. See? Close. It's easy. <laughs> you need a title. I, I'm trying to think of the title of it. <laughs> Man, I just lost it. <laughs> um. Oh, well, anyway. What else do they have here? Um. Beavis and Butthead. Uh, <laughs> well, I, just, hey, I like Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> I, don't care. They ju- I wish they would just release the music videos, though. Actually, that's what they were, uh, were releasing in the new seasons. I'm assuming that's the Mike Judge collection. Yes, I heard that was yes, coming out. It is. The Mike Judge collections are the ones that have the music videos in there. Well, right? I just want just the music videos. Well, I don't think he's done that. They, I was trying to do the same thing because remember, some of the ones that I bought before that didn't have the music videos in it. Hmm. 
which the music videos were what made it awesome. Yeah, because they're because you know, they'd make fun of it. It's like the one where Ozzy Osbourne did that one with a girl. Who was that girl? Was it the mom I'm coming home or? I don't remember. He did a he did one with a one of the girls from that time that was one of the major singers in that. Oh time. yeah yeah yeah. And Beavis yeah, and yeah, Butthead yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole thing were like, why did Ozzy do this? Hmm. This is horrible. Why would Ozzy do this himself? It was the MS3 TK of music videos, for music videos. See what else we have here. The showgirl must go on. The what? Showgirl. I don't know. Never heard the of it. The showgirl must go on. Yeah, I wonder if it's, it's with a, a chick from a uh, uh, Saved by the Bell. <laughs> What's uh, Melissa and Joey? Season oh, one. It's uh, uh, oh, that's that old uh, old comedian Joan um, Rivers. Her really? daughter, I think. They, oh 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 oh, that's it. Okay. Huh. Just what I want to watch. Two women kvetching the whole time. No, oh. thank you. Teen Mom, the first complete season. Oh, gosh. You know, that is actually a scary thing. And actually, one of the teen moms got their child taken away from them because the, the CPS went in or somebody was went into their house and it was just filled with, like, feces. Oh, yeah, no. It was, it was like hoarders bad. They said it was absolutely disgusting. So they actually took the daughter or the kid from, from the mom. And Well, I think the dad lived there, too, but it was yeah. just disgusting. We did a heck of a job uh, reviewing what's coming out and uh, discussions on some of the shows and movies, and uh, I really appreciate you doing it. We'll try to do it again because uh, it's always fun, and I think almost everybody's got an opinion, <laughs> especially the movies. So yeah, we always have Definitely. something. So anyway, Jonathan Charney, thank you. James Stevens, right. thank you, and thank you. thank you to everybody who's watching the the show. And uh, please come on back. We're going to have more. All right.